Greetings from Philadelphia. Today I'm bringing you something hyper important. Airbnb is dropping something mandatory on your doorstep. You have to respond to this or Airbnb is going to block your listings. You will not be able to take guests until you comply. Today we're talking about Airbnb's new cleaning protocol going into effect November 20th. And let me walk you through what it is, what it means, and what you have to do. And Airbnb is forcing you to come out of pocket for some money here. And I found a way to save you some money on the things that they want you to spend on. So without further ado, let's teach you this new protocol and what you should do. Let's jump in. Welcome back, Airbnb family. This video will be short and sweet. I just wanna give you what you need to know and what you need to do. So let's quickly like the video and share with all your host friends because the last thing your friends need to do is lose a ton of money because they're all of a sudden not able to host. That would suck, don't you agree? So Airbnb's got a policy now. There's one policy that applies to both guests and hosts, that is social distancing and mask wearing. Anytime that a guest host or any representatives of the host meet together, they have to both be wearing a mask and they have to practice social distancing. It's a requirement. This means that your housekeepers, if they do not already have masks that they wear, which they should be when they go into an unknown location to start cleaning, they need to have masks on hand because if a guest just walks in early and checks in early without your like letting them know that they could or could not and then they run into your housekeepers, your housekeepers need to be prepared to practice social distancing and this mask wearing policy. Better safe than sorry. Now, in addition, Airbnb wants you to sign on the line for a five-step cleaning process. This five-step cleaning process is different than mine. I do have one that I teach in my course, and that has to do more with inventory control and how to effectively clean fast and get through all these things. So this doesn't compete with my five-step cleaning process. It's just an additional layer, a different five steps to also know. So here's our five-step cleaning process. One, prepare. Two, clean. Three, sanitize. Four, check, double check, triple check. And then five, reset. Now, what I want to really draw your attention to on this is sanitize after cleaning. So this is where your housekeepers probably are not doing their job. And I will also say that your housekeepers probably are not wiping down door handles and door frames nearly as much as they should be anyway. But in addition, now after they're done cleaning, sweeping, removing all the particles, dust, sauce, all the typical cleaning, they're going to have to spray an Airbnb approved like antiviral, antimicrobial um, to sanitize and kill everything in that space before that they leave. So they have to spray, then they go through this long checklist per room to make sure it's all done according to Airbnb standards, and then only after that can they do the reset. The reset is actually where your housekeeper sanitizes their hands, locks up, they cannot go back into that home, all that good stuff, right? No ifs, ands, or buts. Every unit is done, finalized. I don't know if Airbnb is gonna put anything in place to track that we're actually doing this or they just want us to agree to this, but online, this has actually gotten easier than it used to be. Airbnb, a week ago, if you tried to opt into this, they wanted to make you take a quiz. They're like, hey, it's an open book quiz, but it was a quiz nonetheless, and now they've actually removed that. You can just go through, see it, and then opt in. But next, Airbnb needs you to buy disinfectant spray, disinfecting wipes and hand sanitizer, so that way your housekeepers can do their resets, and that way you can have some on hand for your guests when they're at that house. Airbnb requires you to buy this stuff. Now on their website, they have a resource area that you can actually come out of pocket and pay Airbnb because they've partnered with Lysol to pull this off. But I did my homework and these prices are not fair. Like they're not a discount for hosts. Airbnb is not trying to enable you to get this done without great expense to yourself. They're actually trying to turn a profit on these products. So what I've done is I created a link in the description. It's called a kit where I found all the products that Airbnb has approved because it's the same active ingredients as Lysol brand, but it's cheaper, non-name brand and you can buy it in bulk. So that way if you have a few properties or hundred properties, you can save hundreds or thousands of dollars on this distance disinfecting stuff and that way you can get it done without paying Airbnb like a king's ransom for this disinfecting um, spray in these wipes. Also, if you missed a previous video that I did where I talked about Airbnbs not paying hosts, you need to watch that video. We've uncovered tens of millions of dollars of fees like that Airbnb has not paid to hosts. The day that I posted that video, hosts in my immediate network came to me and showed me a quarter million dollars or more of like host like um, like payouts and resolutions that were not paid or frozen that hosts had to go get unlocked. So we've actually made a quarter million dollars in under 24 hours in my immediate circle. And I know very few hosts considering the six million listings that are on the platform. So Airbnb probably owes you money, link in the corner, 
look for this image. Um, I'll put the link in the description as well. Watch that video, super important. Um, there's gonna be much more to come because there's one thing dangerous about what Airbnb is doing here. Um, Airbnb is overstepping their relationship as they've argued their relationship in court. See, Airbnb says that they're just a technology, that they help facilitate the bookings between hosts and guests. But what they're doing in order to get to their IPO and prevent anything from really going wrong, they've actually overstepped that relationship and they're telling you what you have to do to run your business. In order to use them as a platform, you have to operate a certain way. This breaks the relationship. This is something that they technically should not be able to do if they want to argue the type of relationship that they have in court. Now, this affects all sorts of different things. In a different video, I talked about how Airbnb is responsible to pay you for guests that don't pay Airbnb because Airbnb being third party, they own the relationship with the guest and then they own the relationship with the host separately. The host and the guest never actually have their own relationship. So if Airbnb can't collect money from a guest, but that guest checks into your house, Airbnb still has to pay you regardless of their debt with the guest and them. And this type of overreach telling you what you have to do inside of your home further supports that type of relationship that I've argued in that past video. So Airbnb, they're gonna have a huge problem here in the future if anybody decides to come at them for the breach of this relationship that they claim that they are simply just a technology. So Airbnb is racing to their IPO before the legal catches up to them, in my opinion. I'd love to know what you think about this cleaning policy and about the way Airbnb is running their business lately. Um, how do you think this is gonna go? Leave it in the comments. I am always down there and I will talk to you. Let's have a chat. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the other side.